So uh, there was one update. So that is today is not regarding the discussion uh, board, but will be about uh, uh, the customization on the board formatting. So let me only present myself. And uh, my name is Andre Lage. I work in a Swiss company called DataLinks, and these are my uh, my social information itself. And what is the idea here? So here I wanted to to be to start to use the board view that we have it on Microsoft list and to to use what is already out there. So as using as uh, the normal consultant approach, uh, I try to try to answer the the five main questions: what, when, why, and who, and uh, when we sh why we should use it. And for that, I I pick the the current board view and I try to you see what is out there and also on the current application from uh, Microsoft uh, 365 and see how can we improve the ability of the board with moving the the, bo the board cards between place, one place and another. So what was identified? I identified that uh, Planner is a very good uh, example how we can use it and I wanted to implement it on the list to improve my improve the solution that I that is there but to respond to my own needs I'm not saying this is a migration for from the planner to list but uh, I want to have it the same capabilities plus some uh, additional features itself so the, I use the planner as one of the, my uh, base of work uh, another thing that I'm, I'm going to do is to include all, also on the top of this uh, of the the board formatting uh, two, three different uh, features that is called the flag card the move to the top and expand and collapse the cards and then to complement everything because we uh, it's not only to make the customization of the board the, basically, what the output will be definitely uh, transparent to and visualized by the Microsoft list rules, SharePoint page, filter web patch, and of course the implementation with Power Automate with adaptive patch, and you can see it on Microsoft Teams. The normal lifecycle uh, service for every time that we need to create a formatting. It's not only create JSON right away. You need to prepare your work, prepare what you want to achieve, and what, prepare the context that you want to work itself. And for that, this is the full process of the boarding task that I want to improve, and I wanted to, to pick and work itself. Uh, as you see here, so they, this will be a re redesign of the full uh, the full card using a lot of the features that I identify on the planner itself. And based on the different conditions, I will be uh, there will be this option here that will pop up the card that we have a better description and visualization of this information. So I will have two types of cards, the card for visualization and to edit and to display the information, and also the, the board card that will be able to move to move between our board. And this will generate the flows that will create a, a, a post in our channel uh, using adaptive cards and also the creation of the rules. So uh, as, as this uh, as defined it before, so I went to the planner, I identify what is there, what is really good, and I say, okay, this is something that can I improve, I can I reuse it and adapt to my own needs on the list formatting. One is the board itself, and the second is the card, uh, the card itself. Uh, that I want to display every time I want to visualize and de define. So what I have done, I pick the, the meta information and then I try to make a mapping how this will represent itself on the on the list itself. So as you can see, all the, from the left side, this is the cards that is coming from the planner, and I make a mapping and from the right side, how the card will be displayed on the list formatting itself. Are we always talking on the board? And this is what you're going to see on the board when you're going to move it to the cards. And the same will be directly on the planner board card. This is what existed there and how I adapted and create some additional features that I will describe it later on. So what is what and where is going to be positioned on the new uh, board card that uh, I customize? Saying this, uh, what is the features that I, additional features that, for example, the the, the planner uh, has it? So the ability to to move the board card to up and down. For since the uh, list formatting is a little more limited, the only option that I prove it is I pick the card and I move it to the top itself. And for this, I use the current capabilities from the views from the list, and I change the order. I have a support uh, a support field that is called order, and in this uh, uh, field, I save the date that uh, the, the date and because the date can be transformed to numbers and all is going to be the higher number so basically what it's going to do since i'm ordering the column uh, order by ascending he's only the moment i define a stop he's going to move the card to the top itself based on the sorting that I define it on the on the field as you can see it will be a menu and the option will appear there 
The same, uh, another option that I think is really useful is the ability on the card, on the board card, to expand and collapse because we have cards that can have multiple, multiple content and will be hard to visualize in such a uh, small page itself. So for this, I identify that uh, expand and collapse the card is uh, very important and uh, I implement it because this will be useful, useful to optimize our space and we can create multiple tasks that can be easily identified. I will also show the example. And the third one is that I identify from another board uh, outside the, the, the Microsoft world is the ability to create the flags. And this is more for visual representation. For, for example, if we have all the cards with the same color, people can see, okay, Okay, that is something important. But if we have a color, people will well, definitely will make focus and know that some action needs to be taken there. And this is why I defined this whole ability to create this flag itself. So let's go to the demo. I already have a, a list, and here I already prepare uh, some content with some with some of the fields that I took it before, and already pre-prepare it itself. So what is the normal out of the box behavior? If we go to out of the box out of the box uh, board and then I choose I will filter by the category so I will create and what will happen here here we're going to see the, the out of the box card but as you can see if there is something that doesn't match we need something else because we need something that is really productive itself even it is very useful and uh, and really great with using the ability and to, to customize the cards I want to do something a, a little better. And for that, I, I create this customization that I'm just going to access here. And if you go to the list formatting, there's already one example that you can already pick. And I'm going to copy the, the, the content that we have it there. So just one thing. No, thing, exactly. And I'm going to display. And as you can see here, all the cards was already transformed based on the, the fields that was talked before, uh, and also with the ability to make some additions. So we have the description, we have the title, and here is the card that we was talking in, uh, about. And this will take some actions associated here. As you can see, in a very in a straightforward and simple way, uh, using the sheet uh, uh, repository, you can already customize super fast. Just going to change for my already customized because there are some custom features that I want to specifically with, uh, show it. It is the ability, for example, as you said it, like, like I said it before, to max, expand and collapse itself. Another thing that we can also define is the assignment of the user. I have one user and I will include another one. I will put again myself. And uh, for example, for this task, I can include some additional uh, uh, assigned person that it needs to take care. Uh, for example, ability to define tags. And for example, I have a tag with a six because I can have it more than one and can be visualized directly there. As you can see, you can edit it directly from there. At any moment, we can define the progress and we can also define what is the importance of this task itself. If I define important, this can be a, a good candidate that we can use it for our, uh, our rules. We can create a very simple rule when is the change on the priority for urgent, I wanted to send the email to all the assignee. And right away, we already create a rule that will be automatically communicated for the audience or the, in this case, the, uh, the assignees that we want to make some actions itself. And any moment, as you can see here, we have a start date and an end date. For here, we can also, at any moment, and here is also a formatting that we can compress the date, I rearrange them that can be easily visualized, but also easy to be editable and uh, user-friendly itself. Another option that I, can, I was included was the menu options. As, can, as you can see here, there are two different types of uh, menu options. One, ability to add the, uh, the flags, like uh, I said it before, to copy the link, to move to the top, minimize. But I also have the ability, like we have it, for example, in Planner, to move the, the cards to the different areas. Let's go for the, a sim very simple example. I click it here and he will move it to the right area. The same I can do it with a, with a hand. Go back and go forth. And of course, we can define different rules for each one of these uh, areas itself. Another thing that is also that was also included here is the ability to at any moment to know if someone creates some comments or not. 
regarding uh, to be visualized directly on the card. Hi. Uh, this is info. So I will go here and if we go to the, to the area, we see that it's already uh, one comment itself. And any moment, we're going to see uh, all the actions that is associated. So we have it here. So another thing that we can say, like I said, is the ability to include the flag. And the flag will give us the visual uh, representation. Of course, if we don't want to see it right away, we can always minimize. As you can see, we can earn a lot of space. Remember what I said regarding the moving of the, the boards? We are limited with this. So I will show how we can uh, do the action. So I will click on the option move to the top. And then when I go to the left, you're going to see that he already changed the order. When I return it back, he moved it to the, to the top. The only, uh, the only issue here is uh, this is not a synchronous and will not uh, update right away. How this was done? So if we go to the list settings, what the only thing that was done, we create a, a support column that is called order. We went to the, for example, for the task, uh, task box, box. And what, what I do is just change the order itself. And then we'll change the, the order how we're going to see the, the field. So it's going to move to the top. Now I want to move the who to the top. I can do the same. I'm just going to save it here. And the next time I make an update, so just going to move to the top. So let's see if everything is okay. Okay, and then the card went to the top itself. And this is a very simple option. Another thing that we can also do uh, is, for example, if we want to cancel uh, a card, automatically it will be scratched. And uh, as you can see, uh, the, we can also define other type of rules. For example, for this card here, so just going to close it, I'm going to expand it, and I'm going to access to the to the our code. And what I want to do, so just going to minimize this one here. And I want to go to the completed. So what I want to do is to create a very simple action. So I go here, category. OK, I have it here that will be changed to the to the role. So what I want to do, and I hope everything will be run fine. So expand. And what I want to do is the condition that is if expand equal false, then becomes true or false. So we're just going to implement. And if I create something like this, as you can see, the, the card was expanded automatically. When we say it's completed, we'll minimize. This will be interesting if we have multiple tasks uh, and we wanted to have a better visualization itself. And uh, the same way we have uh, the cards with the time, timeline point of view, we can also have, and this is also available, a task that we have like a normal card and the menu will appear on the, on the top left. Of course, we also have the ability to edit properties and all the other options that was available uh, before. Another thing, like I told it before, the same way we have the card here, there is also one additional card that you can have the visualization. So what is the idea? The same card that we use it to visualize is the same that we use it for editing and to visualize on more detail. And of course, we can do all the change associated there. And for this, we we came with integration with the uh, with our uh, Microsoft uh, uh, SharePoint page. So this is my current SharePoint page where I have all the output from the different board itself. And of course, I can make a filter, and this will make some actions associated. As you see here, all the same menus options that we have there will be also be able to have it here. And if I start to move. The, the category will be automatically updated and also the will happen with our filter. So we can have it, the menus, the filter, the mapping and all these capabilities itself in a very straightforward approach that we can have it, uh, everything in the point of center life. And then comes to our last action itself. The moment I define a card to the, as completed, I want that to do some actions associated here. And for that, I have here, uh, one adaptive card. So the moment the card is completed, 
I will receive from the, the flows uh, a, a card that will be pre-filled itself, where this can be defined. This is my flow, this is my condition, and this is the card itself. What I have done, I prepare my card with the image, with the metadata that it needs to be uh, received, and then I just include it on my solution itself. And then I have the visualization on an integration with the teams. So this is the full cycle with the, with the boarding, how we can make it in a way that is not only for the visualization, but also how you can use it and to optimize it in a way that can be more uh, adaptive for your own needs itself. Just going to access it here and, uh, and like this. And then we can also use it for own, our own different needs and also with the different capabilities itself. And this is something that we can already start to make some uh, actions associated. So this is a very simple example with a full process and with a full uh, with a lot of with a full customization of your port. And uh, the key here is uh, using your consultant capabilities. The formatting always has to respond to business needs. And these examples plus the sub formatting like the date compress can also be accessed to your list formatting. And I hope this sample can help you to prepare. Your, your task and your solutions that you can easily identify from outside and you can use to implement it for your own business needs and in a in better and improve it and using the different capabilities from Microsoft 365. And that's it, everything from my side. David, pass to you. Excellent, Andre, this is amazing. And yeah, just for those watching at home, this was a SharePoint list. So the uh, the the maturity that list formatting has brought forward is amazing and what you're all doing with it is fantastic and you can have it all for the low low price of free by the way it's all in the samples andre has uploaded it so definitely take advantage so thank you again great stuff mm -hmm.